Hello, I'm David Chrisman, and this is not Film Focus. Today, we're going to be looking at something else that's near and dear to my heart, beer. So welcome to the first edition of Beer Focus. Today, we're outside Wine World and Spirits on 4th and 45th. We're going to go inside, we're going to talk some beer, and we're going to learn a little bit more about this wonderful beverage. So I'm here with Nathan Milan, Wine World's beer guy. So Nathan, we're here at the Growler Bar and uh, just kind of what do you guys do here? Uh, here we do beer tastings every Wednesday and make sure that we uh, try to do our best to educate any consumers on local beers or beers around the country, world beers, the best we can do. Um, make sure we do uh, well, I have a lot of fun. That's, again, number one is enjoyment. Beer, for me, is all about enjoyment. The community, the beer culture, is what really drew me to it. And so I'm trying to give off that same persona here at Wine World, especially around Beer Wednesdays, around the Growler Bar, and over at our beer set. So uh, for somebody that's just kind of just turned 21 and isn't really that new to drinking or anything, what is beer culture? What is beer culture? Well, first let me say this for the tw well, new 21-year-olds. Welcome to one of the best adventures of your life. Beer culture is a community of people who are laid back, fun loving, easy going people that just like to sit down and share a brew. Uh, beer is such, uh, such a diverse beverage that you can have at festivals, concerts, come here to a store, go out to a bar, whatever it is, beer can really make or break an experience. So I know we're really fortunate here in the Northwest because we've got a lot of small, independent microbreweries and craft breweries. So for somebody that doesn't really know what's going on. There's a ton of bottles on the shelf. Where do you start? That's a very difficult question to answer. That's a very difficult question. I'd say go where your heart takes you. You know, when it comes to beer, act like you're four years old. You know, just find a bottle, whether it be by the name, by the label, by the location on the shelf, what have you. If it's new and interesting, I'd say try it. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, I've always gone by the motto, there's a time, a place, and mood and a food for every beer. Uh, so really just go with what you're feeling. What do you want that day? What are you going to be doing? You know, what sounds like fun and go with that. So that's about all we have time for, but I have to ask you, what's your favorite local brewery? That's a loaded question. I need to think about that for a minute. I'd probably have to go with No Lie out of Spokane. They've been around since 1993 under branded Northern Lights. They just rebranded themselves about August and have hit the shelves ground running. They've doubled their capacity in three months and now that you can find them all up and down the coast. Just in the past six months they've accomplished all of that. And they have uh, about six beers right now and I'm a big fan of uh, five of the six. I haven't had the sixth yet so I can't talk about it. All right, there we go. So there you go, that's a little bit of a look into beer culture and everything that's going on over here at Wine World. Uh, if you're ever interested in trying some new beers or want somebody to talk to about beer, come on down, I'm sure they'll help you out. Thanks for talking to us, Nathan. Not a problem, thanks for coming in.